I'm Bill Zwecker of the Chicago Sun-Times on the red carpet at the Museum of Contemporary Art for the Chicago premiere of Life Itself, the documentary about Roger Ebert, our late, great Chicago Sun-Times Pulitzer Prize winning film critic. We're going to see as people arrive what they have to say about Roger Ebert. <music> To have the premiere in Chicago, it's got to be special tonight. It is special, and it's also special to have the, the premiere here in Chicago because this is where Steve James shot Hoop Dreams 20 years ago. And Roger was such a, you know, he, he really championed that film, and it's so ironic that Steve James is putting Roger on the screen now, 20 years later. I didn't do this film as a payback to Roger for what he had done for me. It wouldn't have served him for me to do a film just simply out of a kind of uh, obligation to, to pay him back. He wouldn't have wanted that. No. Uh, so I fell in love with his story. I fell in love with his life. And I just felt like his life really informed the kind of critic he became. And I wanted to tell that story. Roger deserves every frame but I think Gene would give it a qualified two thumbs up because he'd like to see more of himself in it. But what do you think he would like most about this documentary? I know what he would have liked most about it. He would have liked the fact that Steve James showed the gritty side, showed the unblinking medical stuff, showed it all, not just the iconic stuff, because Roger said he wanted to make sure that Steve showed the man, not the icon. I know that's what he would have appreciated. What was the biggest challenge for you in making this film? Was it his health, would you say? Well, yeah, I mean, I think that clearly was the biggest challenge, because we didn't set out to film the last four months of his life. We set out to film how vibrant and active he was, despite all he had been through and it didn't happen that way. But I think all of those qualities that I was looking to capture in that, his work ethic, his sense of humor, his determination, his stubbornness, you know, all those qualities that I was hoping to capture in his regular day-to-day -day life are all very much in evidence in the last four months of his life. And in a way, that made it all the more extraordinary. Honored to be here today, and I think all of us know that uh, Roger is always with us. But most of all, I think he understood that movies were about people, and Roger did his entire life have a strong sense of social justice and the importance of of learning about life and education and working hard. Uh, those are the values that Roger always treasured, uh, and I thought today, on behalf of all the people of Illinois. Uh, we have 13 million people in our state, we're the fifth largest state, that it's pretty darn important that we never forget Roger and his purposeful life. And today, I've declared this Life Itself Day. On behalf of the movie, come on out, Steve. And so, Roger, wherever you are, remember what Paul said a long time ago when you were going to church in Urbana. Love is patient, love is kind, love never fails. Thank you. I have only one thing to say, and that is, I give this movie two thumbs up, but, but, you have to hear why there are two thumbs. One thumb is for my humanist husband, Roger, the other thumb is for Steve James, who did such a magnificent job on this movie. I'm really happy for you to see it.